there's a new sheriff in space, and it's not SpaceX. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time today. We have a little bit of stormy weather. Still trying to get over this cold, guys. Still trying to get over this cold. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today, we're talking about space. And there's a new sheriff in space. And as I said before, it is not SpaceX. What is going on, guys? What is going on? Well, ULA, or United Launch Alliance, has a new, let's say, take on space. They're going to change it up a little bit. They can't beat SpaceX on price, so they want to beat them on utility. I was reading an article over on Space News, and I thought it was pretty interesting, and a couple other articles. I joined them all together. I want to read this to you and get your thoughts on this. What do you think about this? I was considering this a long time ago, that this needs to be the case. Originally, I was thinking, well, we need to have a trash collector, a waste management system, for example, to be able to go up into LEO, low Earth orbit, and any pieces of debris that we see that are just junk, basically space junk, we kind of push it very easily back into the atmosphere and let it burn up, right? Kind of like a waste management that you would see that comes pick up your garbage, okay? We need something like that. But we also need some type of sheriff up there because if an adversary decides that they want to take out a satellite, they could do so. And it'd be very hard for us to do anything about it because everything is very slow moving in space, right? Very lethargic, let's say, very slow. So we need something that would be able to intercept the danger. And that's exactly what ULA is coming up with here. And I think it's very interesting. I just don't know if it's going to be something that will go through or doesn't go through, or is it something that SpaceX is already working on? I want to know what you think. Down below, I want to hear from you. And if you're shy, you don't want to put something down there, that's fine, put an emoji. All right, any emoji, a rocket, a satellite, a poop emoji, anything. I'm okay with it. <laughs> also, if you enjoy the content, throw the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends, family, colleagues, Reddit, Facebook, wherever. All right, share the channel. It really helps out a lot. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, consider doing so. And if you are, thank you. I appreciate that. Click this little notification button over here so when I go live when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. And if you just wanna say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a thank you button down here. You could give a dollar or two if you like. If not, that's perfectly fine. The video's still free. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks, check them out. Go to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. Finally, finally, We'll be done with this shameless promotion. <laughs> Consider taking a look at my Starlink playlist. If you would like more SpaceX Starlink goodness, helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to buy, what not to buy, what to do, what not to do, and of course the why behind all of it, I'll put a link right here. Don't click on it yet. Click this link and you're going to find about almost 390 videos I've put together for you in the last 40 months or so. Wait until you're done watching this video. Check that out. There's a lot of goodness there. Anyways, let's jump right into this article. Once again, I want to hear from you down below. I'll give you my commentary, of course. And don't forget to like the video if you do. If not, give it a thumbs down. I'm okay with that. At least there's some interaction. I know that you're here. ULA pitches space interceptor role for the Falcon rocket's upper stage. In a strategic move to differentiate themselves from SpaceX, ULA, or United Launch Alliance, proposed a new military application for its Falcon Centaur rocket, a space interceptor, to counter threats to U.S. space assets. ULA CEO Tori Bruno discussed this at the Space Power Conference, envisioning the Falcon not just as a launch vehicle, but as a deterrent against adversaries targeting Space Force assets. Space Force assets. Keep that in mind. Falcon Centaur, from launch to lethal guardian. Quote, our vision is the ability to have a platform that is lightning fast, long range, and if necessary, very lethal, Bruno stated on December 12th. He's been advocating for the expanded capabilities of the Centaur upper stage since 2020, with plans for an enhanced Centaur 5 that could operate for weeks, supporting complex missions and military operations. ULA's strategic pivot in the competitive space market. 
This proposal comes as ULA seeks to regain ground lost to SpaceX in the military launch sector. Once dominant, ULA has seen its share of decrease since SpaceX introduced the cost-effective Falcon 9 in 2015. The Falcon Centaur, awaiting national security certification, uses Blue Origin BE-4 engines for its first stage and an Aerojet Rocketdyne or RL-10 for its second. Upgrades could make the Centaur 5 a long endurance vehicle for counter space missions, offering rapid response unlike the slow moving traditional satellites. Anticipating threats from space. Quote, if we watch an attack developing where a Chinese asset is approaching something that we care about, we have something we can move there in a few hours and interrupt that attack before it starts. He argues for fostering unique capabilities among providers rather than just competing on price. Very interesting. A call for diverse capabilities over price competition. Quote, there's going to be three heavy lift providers. There's going to be two medium lift guys, Bruno said, foreseeing a varied national security space launch program. He suggested that Space Force should consider more than just launch capabilities and price, warning against a, quote, race to the bottom that could lead to market monopoly. Yeah, if they were the monopoly, it wouldn't be a problem, right? <laughs> but it's not. It's SpaceX. Anyways, ULA's optimistic outlook amid market challenges. Despite delays with the Falcon and speculation about its future under Lockheed Martin and Boeing, Bruno remains optimistic. He trusts in the U.S.'s ability to leverage the partnerships between private industry and government for space advancement. Well, I think that's all great and all, all right? And I do like the idea, the proposed idea, of having a new sheriff in space, so to speak. Now, is that sheriff ULA? Or is that sheriff going to be SpaceX? Or is that sheriff going to be Jeff Bozo over there, his blue ord? Who's gonna be the sheriff? I would venture to say the sheriff will end up being Elon Musk. <laughs> That's just my personal opinion. I don't know, you know, maybe I'm a little bit tainted because I've been using SpaceX's product now for the last 40 months plus, and I know how good they are, right? And we can see with our own two eyes how well Elon Musk is doing with SpaceX, even with Starlink, with communication, but SpaceX in general, just with launch and launch cadence. There's no other company that can compete with it. So what ULA is saying here is like, wait, 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 let's not race to the bottom when it comes to price, right? Let's look at everything else. Maybe there's something that we can do to give greater value to us because we're not going to beat SpaceX when it comes to price or launch cadence until there comes a time when we have our own reusable rocket and they don't. I think China will have a reusable rocket before Blue Origin or ULA does. Sadly, but I do believe that to be the case. Now, a sheriff. I think a sheriff is needed. Just like I said at the beginning of this video, I think a trash collector is needed. There needs to be waste management, right? To take some of the debris and throw it back into the atmosphere to burn up. So it's not clogged with a lot of junk. I mean, when the Chinese launched their very first prototype, let's say, of their SpaceX Starlink lookalike, while they did have 18 or 20 satellites placed into space, that vehicle ended up blowing up in space and causing hundreds and hundreds, I think the number was like six or 700 trackable chunks of debris that are in low Earth orbit now. That shouldn't be, okay? So those are the type of chunks that we need to pull up next to and take the chunk and throw it back into the atmosphere, right? So why should we have to do that? I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should charge China for taking all of their debris and getting it out of space, right? I think that's a really good company to have. Space junk management, right? Because we know that the garbage companies make a ton of money. Moving into the sheriff, we need to have some type of means to get from point A to point B in space very quickly to, as they were stating, to, let's say, suppress any type of threat 
that looks like it might happen. Because remember, satellites move very slowly, all right? They're not jetting around up there. They're moving at 17,000 miles per hour, but that's fine. That's because they're doing this deal, right? But in reality, to move from point A to point B, it takes a while. Just to get, for example, SpaceX Starlink, they come in right around, let's say, 250 or so kilometers in space when they drop them off. For them to get from, let's say, 200, 250, whatever, up to that 500 mark, 530, whatever the operational height is, to get to that altitude sometimes takes them a week. <laughs> it takes them a bit. Sometimes a month with the very first ones, it would take that long before they'd be operational. So it takes a while, right, with these little ion propulsion systems. Either which way, what ULA is stating here is we're going to have rockets on these things. We're going to jet around, all right? We're going to get from point A to point B to be able to, once again, suppress something that could happen, right? Stop it from happening. So I think that the idea is absolutely valid, and I think that it, there is a necessity for it. My question is, who will be that sheriff? Right? And that's what I want to ask you. Do you think that ULA will end up being the sheriff? Or do you think that Blue Origin and Jeff Bozo over there will be the sheriff? Or do you believe Elon Musk with SpaceX will end up being the sheriff? Or will there be multiple? I think that they'll probably end up being one that runs the government, let's say, or works for the government. And that will probably be the one that can continuously launch extremely quickly. So while ULA is proposing this, I would venture to say Elon has already been working on it. Maybe it's already done, who knows, maybe it hasn't even been offered yet, but I would venture to say that we will hear something very similar come out of SpaceX in the not so distant future. But we'll see, I could be wrong. What say you? Down below, what do you think? Once again, do we need a garbage collector, <laughs> right? You wanna be the garbage collector? You make a lot of money. <laughs> do we need a garbage collector in space? Also, do we need a space sheriff? Let me know down below. Let's have this discussion. I think it's fun. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up. That will be very helpful. Don't forget to share, share, share with your community, friends, family, Reddit, Facebook, wherever. Please share the channel. Please share the video. Finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the many years and my shirts and my merch and my tees and my books and everything else. Check it out. See if there's something there that you might like, jchristina.com. If there is, please pick it up. Help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected. And we'll see you in the next one. Love y'all. And if you want to just say thank you for all of my hard work on this channel, YouTube gave us a thank you button. A thank you? <laughs> uh, YouTube gave us a thank you button. I don't know what kind of button that is, but I think we need two. <laughs>